Hey everyone, in this video we're going to install Apache on our AWS EC2 instance. So we have already got our instance up and running. If you don't know how to do that or you don't know how to set up uh, AWS account in general, check out one of the previous videos. It kind of just holds your hand step by step on how to do that. So let's jump into this. We have got our instance. This is it here. It's running. And the most important thing for us about this is the public IP address. So it's 13.40.80.151. And that's what we're going to use to connect via SSH. And we're going to run some commands. Again, we've done this in a previous video, so I'm not going to be going into detail. All you need to know is we're in the server at the minute. And the first thing that we're going to do is updated. So if you've freshly created your Ubuntu server, you want to go and run this command, sudo apt update. This will fetch all the updates, um, if there's any, and make sure that it's installed. The next thing you want to do is to install Apache. So to do that on Ubuntu, it's uh, sudo apt install Apache 2. As you can see, I've already got the newest version because I've run this previously. Now the next thing you want to do is once you've done that command it should have created a directory for you and that directory should be under vars www.html and in that directory there should be a file where you can display whatever you want as your website. So if I cd into that directory there, and I do an ls, I see there's an index.html. So if I was to do a, we'll do a vi actually, vi index.html, you can see there's stuff here. So this is just styling and whatever, but this is the default page that Apache has. So we're going to exit out of that. The next thing we want to do is to check the status of our Apache 2 web server. So to do that, it's just sudo service Apache 2 status. And you can see at the moment it's down, right? So it's it's not looking good. Um, now for you, when you do this previous command, when you do this one, it may run it automatically for you. And it may be working. This might be active when you try this command. But just worst case scenario, you do that command and it's down like it is for me, you may have to use this command here. So this is sudo service apache2 start. And once you do that command, let's do the status command. And now you can see it's got this little green light, which it didn't have before. And its activity now is active and running rather than dead. So now that should be up and running. If we were to go back to our web browser and if we were to copy this IP here and open up a new terminal and we're going to paste it in here and hit enter, that's it, right? We've created a new server on AWS with that IP and on port 80 we're hosting it. Uh, just one thing to mention, this may not work for you initially. There was one other thing I had to do, and it was around the security. So if I go to my security here, and I go to the security group, there's always a default one. Now you have inbound and outbound rules. So inbound would be us, like our web server, sorry, our, our web browser here, trying to access the server. So that would be considered an inbound rule. So if I go to edit inbound rules like this, and if I was to delete this, this is what the original one is like. Actually, sorry, no, I've deleted the wrong one. I need to need to add that back in. Um, it was SSH. This is SSH, and it was, yeah, sorry, it looked like this. So that's the one I deleted. That's the one you should have by default that allows you to SSH into the server. This one you probably won't have, this HTTP one. So if I delete that and I save those rules and let that refresh, and I'm going to reload this, and I shouldn't get this page now, I should get something else. Um, and it's just, it's loading 
for a long time there. It's not actually displaying this page, although it looks like it. So if I was to put that into a new browser or a new tab, you'll see we're not getting anything. And that's because it's reaching out, it's trying to get to the server, but that port is not open, so it just kind of disregards it. So you may have to go in here and add a new rule. Uh, you're going you're gonna to look for HTTP, select that, that'll be on port 80, that's the default port, custom, and you're going to want to have it anywhere, so anyone will be able to hit this IP and they'll be able to see the web page. So if I save those rules, and hopefully, uh, it's usually pretty quick to update, hopefully it's there already. Uh, so if I copy this, I think it's refreshed on this original page before, but I'll just do it on this one, just to make double sure. Yeah, and it's 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 there, we can see it. Now, if you read down through this, you can see it tells you that it's located this far, www.html index.html. So if we go here, this is where this HTML lives. That's where we were before. So if we go back there now, um, well, we're actually we're here at the minute. If we do a pwd, you should see that you're in the var www forward slash html. And if we do a vi this, and if we were to delete all this, we could we could delete everything here, right? Um, there's actually there's probably an easier way to delete all the lines in vi, which I should probably know. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a sudo or m and then index.html and I'm going to just do a vi index.html this is just basically I'm deleting the index.html file and then I'm creating a new one and it's just it's easier than deleting all the lines for me um, if you want to do it the other way it's exactly the same so sudo it's not spelled right sudo vi index.html so if I just put in hit i for insert and now I can type whatever I want I can also delete all that so I'm just going to put in h1 tag here and I'm going to put in Ryan's test like that and I need to close that h1 tag just like so and now if I go back to that website I shouldn't see this I should see something else Ryan's test and that's it so we've installed Apache web server we've made an edit to the HTML file to display something we want and now we can access it using our IP address and anyone else can access it too using the same IP